son of a bitch! Do what you're here for! that I'm not able to see any of them. There's a torture museum nearby. What? Yes. Yep. I've been to a museums of torture before. <laughs> really? it's, it's odd. Shit. <laughs> you love that. Yeah, you love torture. No, it's bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be bad. Well, oh, hello. Um, I want to start off with, uh, with uh, David. Um, uh, Fury, uh, a war movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the, the big themes also in this movie and also in other movies you made is uh, the brotherly companionship, the brotherhood. Yes. Um, what is it that makes that uh, is it that you write that as an uh, important theme in actually all the movies? Same as, same as Fury. I mean, that's, that's a good question. Um, I was in the military. Uh, I come from a, a military family. Uh, maybe, maybe I missed that experience myself. But uh, too many movies focus on um, the plot or the event. You know, most war movies are about, say, uh, a big famous battle. This is just five brothers in a tank. It's a family in a tank. And, and those family dynamics are, are fascinating to me. But it's also, as a director, the most pleasurable uh, thing to bring to the screen because you work with great actors. And, and, and how do you get them to connect? How do you get them to bond? How do you get them to be honest with each other? Um, and, and watching them grow into a family is one of my, my biggest joys. Okay, well, it, uh, I can say you, you succeeded in that. Um, the question I had with, uh, with the, the writing, did you also already had uh, actors in mind uh, <coughs> cast? Because you have quite a diverse cast uh, inside the tank. Uh, it, it's, I, I wrote uh, the role of Gordo for Mike Pena. Um, other than that, it was really open. I, I didn't know who would play these roles ultimately. Uh, Brad came in uh, right away, and once, once I had Brad, then it became about finding the right brothers, the right personalities that would together become this family, but it was also finding guys that were willing to train hard and, and do things uh, that you don't normally do for a movie. Yeah, and uh, for you, uh, Logan, uh, you uh, already started in a quite a diverse couple of movies, adventure movies, romantic movies, uh, and now a war movie. What mm -hmm. drove you to, uh, to this movie, the war movie? Uh, well, great material. Um, the script was so good. I really, I really can't fully explain to you just how, how amazing of a read it was. Um, it was one of the few times I, I can think of where I, where I knew I had to do it. 
where it was the only thing I was going to do. And uh, uh, I mean, I guess I, I had to, if you said no, I would have to take that as an answer, but I, I, in my <laughs> mind, I wasn't going to take that as an answer. And, Knocking on my door yeah, at 3 a.m. Yeah, like, no, I'm showing up for work even if you don't hire me kind of mentality. And um, I just loved the, I loved, I loved the character. I loved the challenge of the role. Um, he was, he was really, uh, yeah, he kind of scared me, you know, scared me. Um, on top of that, I've always been attracted to the, to uh, the war genre as a, as a whole, and World War II in particular. Um, and a lot of, you know, World War II films have, you know, very similar themes. And this is a film that is very different in terms of the World War II genre. There's not a film like this. Um, it's, it's, it's unique and a great addition to the World War II genre. Yeah, it's, it's five five brothers who live in a tank. Mm -hmm. It's it's five people in a metal box. They can't get away from each other. They're fighting the enemy, and then they also either love and support each other or fight each other. And it's about that, that struggle, that emotional struggle of war, and how, how it shows in the bonds between men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, my final question is, uh, why is it that we all should see this movie? What is it that uh, we really need to see this movie in uh, your eyes? Well, in my eyes, you know, it's a film that, that has, you know, I mean, like, like you've said before, too, it's not a film that's about a great battle. It's not a film that's about, uh, you know, necessarily uh, Glorification and and, and 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 the heroism, you know, it's all about it's all about people and the effect of war on the human soul. And uh, there hasn't been a movie really that just explores that and the no, the human element, the the family dynamic of a tank crew. Uh, it's it's universal. You have yeah. you have these five brothers that could be you know our friends, our cousins, and they're just trying to survive and and you you see their relationships the acting is so believable i mean they're really spectacular in this they did an incredible job and it's it's i think it's a special movie it's worth seeing in theaters and, and on top of that not to make this the longest answer ever but <laughs> uh as a fan of a film and a fan of 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 of, of this genre there hasn't been a film I can think of that's been uh, it's revolved around tankers, and uh, uh, I think it's an interesting perspective and a very ambitious movie to make. And that's the reason why people don't do it is because it's hard to find angles inside a tank. It's hard to shoot a tank, and uh, these guys did it so well. And it's a perspective that people aren't used to seeing. Um, I, I would see it if I wasn't in it. Okay. Yeah. Well. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.